Hey, how's everybody doing? It's Lieutenant Dan Gaming back with another video on MLB The Show 20. And today we're going to be doing some BR pitching tips. It was either between hitting tips or pitching tips. And I haven't warmed up today, so I'm probably not going to hit the best. But I've I'm been pretty good pitcher that warming up. I've never needed to warm up for pitching. So you know what? I decided let's let's do some BR pitching tips. And uh, I just drafted this team. It's got some good pitchers, especially some really glitchy pitchers. That's kind of what one going back to the drafting tips that I posted two days ago. I think it was that you want to get glitchy pitchers. Whoops, there we go. And uh, I got some glitchy pitchers on here, and that's Brandon Woodruff, Yanni Trinos, and John Lester. All three are really good. And in the bullpen, uh, we have like Trevor May, Daniel Winkler, Romo's really good, Watson's not bad, and Dibble's really good as well. So we got, we got some good pitchers to use. And the lefties aren't too bad either. And the lineup, it doesn't really matter because this is a pitching tips video. The lineup's really good. So uh, let's just get right into it. So as you can see, it's taking us a long time to find an opponent. Uh, it's either because there's not many people on the game right now, or I don't know, that's not many people are playing BR, I guess. But uh, we just did find one. So we're gonna get into this. This is a live commentary. This is not post commentary. So I'm gonna go through this, go through my mindset, show you what I do, show you how I pitch. And uh, we'll, we'll just get into it. So we're gonna pick Brandon Woodruff. We are going to be the home team, so we're going to be pitching first. So you get first, first inning. And I thought this guy didn't set his lineup, but he did. Danny Jansen leading off. That's kind of kind of weird. George Foster, Carlos Correa, Nelson Cruz, Carlos Gonzalez. So, you know, righty, 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 righty. Four righties, a lefty, a lefty. Two more righties after that, so a lot of righties in his lineup. He's 29 and 142. Okay, um, I I don't think I've seen a record that bad before. Okay, I better not lose. So first inning here, I'm gonna warm up some pitchers to get me out of jams. Sergio Romo's one. Tony Watson's pretty good for getting out of the jams. So we're gonna do some basically ground ball pitchers. As they get you ground balls. So let's start going into this. Right away, I'm going to start throwing pitches. And he swung really late at the fastball there, 98. So I'm going to throw another one. Okay, he was he was late on that as well. So what are we going to go back to? We're going to go back to a fastball. We're going to keep it simple. Let's not try to get too complicated. And he's probably going to be late on this. And we threw it off the corner. All right. So I like to throw pitches away in BR unless somebody's like extremely late on fastballs, then you can throw them in. But he's early on that, so we're gonna throw that slider now. We're gonna throw it down, of course. And he's early on it. We get him to swing over. It. Very simple. Keep it on the corners. Keep it on. Keep it on the edges. I bet he's gotta be early on this. Yeah, he's way early, so we're gonna keep going for that off speed. As long as he's early, we keep throwing that off speed. If he's early on a fastball, off speed. And he seems he's seen the time that one up decently. So we'll see what the feedback is. If he's late, we're gonna go to that fastball. Yeah, he was late. I mean it was a good pitch. Change up in. We're gonna put that fastball in now. I want high. He chases up there, so that could be a pitch we go to later on. Super late. I'm gonna throw that fastball again, and he times it up, but he pops it up. So we get out of the inning. No hits there. No runs. We're good, and we come up to hit now. I'm, I guess I'm just gonna show you these hits because if I showed you the pitching, this video would be way too fast. There'd be no point of showing. So um. I, if, if you can keep in your starting pitcher in the first inning, and he quits. Okay, well, <laughs> if you can keep in your starting pitching pitcher in the first inning, try it. If, if he gives up two hits, if, if he gives up one hit, and there's a righty coming up, and you feel confident that you can get out of it, go ahead and keep him in. If he gives up two hits, well, then you might want to take him out because if you take out and put in a bullpen pitcher, and he pitches say three pitches he's gonna come in that next inning more tired than if he came in straight away that inning and you only threw three pitches it's just it's I don't know how it works like that honestly they should be gaining energy more time to sit on the bench kind of like real life 
but you could say you know they're not as warm. I mean, I was I was never I was never a pitcher, so I don't know, but um, I, I don't know how it really works. And so uh, let's just let's just get in the second inning here. We'll get we'll get second inning second game. I can't believe he quit. I guess he just felt like he had no chance of winning. I mean, the way I was pitching, the way I had him off balance, I don't think he had a chance either. So uh, let's get right into the second game. So in my VR drafting strategy video, I had a comment about asking was the best time to play like VR, and the the person who asked the question said he's gone 12 and 0 or 12 and 1 a couple times, and he he's never gone 12 and 0. He's gone 12 and 1. Did I say 12? And 1? I'm not sure. He's gone 12 and 1 a couple times. Hmm. I feel like I've heard this name before. Okay, well, he's got a good team. He's got Eckersley on the mound. Eckersley's good. But, um, it looks like you always want to look at these lineups. It looks like he's got a gold in the bullpen. So, you know, watch out for we that. And we are the away team, so we're going to be getting first. For another 66 of and 70. On the show. So, I don't think it's the first one I'm thinking of. But, he's getting the this game. Hit off Astros. well, and we'll give ourselves a lead. In, Alberto Mondesi. But, really, we pitching. Here once again, I'm going to warm up pitchers, get me out of a jam. But, really, pitching comes down to. Hitting well and giving yourself runs. If you Ready give yourself deliver, runs, you're going to be more pitch. confident to pitch, I think. I mean, you're a little scared if you're down four. runs or you're tied. You're always a little bit scared to pitch in the zone, so you kind of try yeah, to dot pitches. For another but but the pitcher went to ball, that's not the way to really pitch. And I'm not really hitting good play. here. Like I said, I didn't warm up. I'm trying to talk through this, going through the mindset of pitching, not hitting. So I shouldn't be talking while I'm hitting. That's my bad, but uh, if, if you have a huge lead, your mindset in pitching is, your say, ego is 10 times higher than it is if you're losing or you're tied. So that's, I give that another tip. Just go ahead and try to score as many runs as you can. I mean, no mercy on players. If you give yourself a, a lead in the first inning and you come up pitching and you pitch strong, that opponent, he feels down. He feels like he's got to battle back. And it's harder for somebody to battle back in VR, especially in three innings. It's not running seasons when you've got nine. So that's just another big tip. Right there, we take a one nothing lead. He threw a fastball right down the middle. 94, you can't throw that. I mean, that, that's, that's like a softball. So we're going to take the one nothing lead. we got Sheffield up now. That's a pitch, that's a crush. That one's going to be right to the shortstop, and Gary going to keep that one out. So, I would say just try to get yourself a lead. Pitch on the corners. I mean, I'll show you here in the next couple innings. I don't know how this, how long this guy's going to stay in if we start blowing him out. We'll see. Chato's going to slap the one up the middle. Okay, so two outs. Going to look for a home run. Maybe just a single, keep the rally going, something to gap, we'll see. Into the box now, Kyle Schwarber. Anything to keep their inning going. The Give us some insurance runs. So he takes his strong. first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Yeah, he doesn't want to throw it. Both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for That's something a good pitch I can get my drive. arms extended on. It was Probably just below the zone, but, you know, you can get those in BR, especially on All-Star, so. so first and third, he gets the third on that one. Jackie Robinson. Gold card. I hit good with this card last year, so that's why I picked him. There we go, look at that. 2-0 lead. Just right up the middle, perfect, perfect. Balls below the zone, but you can get to those if they're right there. Right, now we got Howard, Howie Kendrick, who's always with you. And that's a three-run shot. Alright, so we give ourselves a 5-0 lead. And our opponent might be out of here, I would not be surprised. Honestly, with my hitting right now, I should be giving hitting tips, but this is a pitching tips video, so. And we're probably not going to show much pitching. <laughs> that's, my, how, that's probably how it's going to go. Not even going to show a lot of pitching. It's a pitching tips video. 
Uh, what is he gonna do here? Let's see. Bring in a new pitcher. Ben Bowden. All right. To do the pitching. So now it's Mark Canna. And Canna goes now, deep. Oh my God! Look at this. This poor guy. This no poor guy. I mean. Back to back jacks. I mean, it was second game of the day, first time hitting. I'm just lighting this guy up. In now, Yanni Chirinos. Has the first pitch to him is all right there. I mean, I, I'm cracked right now. Tries to dump this one out to left. All right, we're gonna get a single on that, and Yanni Chirinos is gonna come up, and he's gonna pitch. Or hit. No, it's, oh wait, no, no, Yanni Tran's so got a single. Plate, Mondesi, I have no idea what's going field. on. I have no idea what's going on. I've completely Davis lost my mind. Alright, well. To stop the bleeding. Yeah, stop the bleeding. That's right, Matt Vaskurgeon. Bleeding has been stopped. We are up six runs. Let's go shut this Stepping guy down. Plate, Get him out of here. off here. So, what I talked first. about, we're going to pitch on the corner. The throw pitch high. We're going to really try to throw strikes here in the first inning as we try to dot a pitch, and it turns out to be a ball. All right, so he swings at that pitch down low. He was late on it, so we're going to throw a fastball. Not a sinker, a fastball. Kind of way. Fouled away. No way, he was late on it. We're going to throw a fastball One, in, two. middle in. Locked and we hang it, right and field. he drives it. Long run but for the right fielder. tough luck. He gets to it and makes the I mean, Sheffield makes that play. At One out. And uh, we're, we're going to try to throw a slider here. We're going to see if he's early on it. I am dead inside. Oh, I timed it up and he goes deep. I mean, deep. I hung it. That is a got, and I accidentally folks. died. Long, I hung on. it. See, that's just something you can't do. You can't hang pitches in VR. They're going to take advantage of it. He timed it up. I'm going to try to throw the splitter see if he goes that in. He goes very early. So we're going to throw that in the dirt again. Yep, alright. Makes contact, but... On number two. Now we have to face Josh Jung. Now this situation, I'm like, you know what, Yanni Trino, he can stay in. He's not in trouble. After that slider, he does not swing at it. So we're going to go back to that sinker, see if he's late on it. Hung it. He's late. Okay, so that's a good sign. Very late. So we're going to throw it again. Hung it. And he fouls it off. He's late. Once and again, foul. so what are we gonna do? We're gonna surprise him. Second like sinker, we're gonna throw in that one, fastball. Two. Extra heat, up and in, now here's pops it up. We get out of the right inning. Side. One run Henry allowed after we hung the slider. The I mean, not not the best inning you can have, uh, but it's better. Th it's better than giving them three, four runs. Two thousand years later. Right, first pitcher is gonna throw a sinker in. And hangs it, but he's still late on it. See, he, he can't catch up to hey, the sinker. So we're going to throw another one. And, and he smokes it center field. Okay, good hit. Yanni Trance is starting to get hit, so we're going to take him out. That one a doubt Great gone. hit. We we didn't put the sinker where we wanted it, and we squared it up. So. Now time is we're a Romo now. Not that jam situation. That we were thinking of, but he still can't get, right up, get us out of the Romo inning. The so a slider for and pitch, he doesn't swing at it. We're gonna try to throw that change up now. That evens it up. Okay, one so he swings that. So that's a pitch he's been swinging at all game, that change up. So we're gonna go back to it. We hang and it a little bit, down, and he drives and it center. Alright, so David Dahl here, we're gonna try to throw the sinkers away, try to get that ground ball, and he smokes him in the gap. Alright, so what he showed me right now is no lead is safe. And oh, 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 he makes a base running mistake. Alright, and he's gonna reach. He's, he's gonna have to stay at 30. Honestly, he's just scored on that, but that's fine. Change the blow early on it. Goes again. Don't throw it too high. And I threw it high, and he's gonna score a run on it. Okay. We'll take the run for now. We're only up by three now, and we're not the home team, so it's getting a little scary. We're gonna have to score some runs next inning. And uh, this ain't the best pitching display. He's, he's been hitting well. I've been hanging a lot of pitches. Edwin Encarnacion will get the an Edwin here again because it's not fast. He's going to easily time that up. And once again, Lighter Romo hangs. I change up. Right, first and third now, again. So one out. Romo, one Romo out. ain't doing it right now. And I have the guy for the job. 
coming up now right now. He's, he's, we're gonna bring him in. Rob Dibble. He throws 102. I know this guy can't catch up to the fastball that well, so uh, this should be a perfect situation for us to get out of this. No more runs, but who knows? Maybe maybe he'll square one up. And... All right, Nico Goodrum first base. So we got speed. He might steal, probably not. Here's Corey Seager. Yeah, so there we go. Fastball away. Can't ball, catch up to it. So far, Throw that again. With a fly out. Pops it up. up. So he's late on it. Looks like he might have been. He might have been just just late. We'll see. We'll see what and the feedback is. So he was late. He wasn't very late. Fastball in. Nope. Okay, 1 0. Hang it. That was it all. He's early. He's waiting on it. Okay. Fastball high and away. Good pitch. Fouls it off super late. And you know what? If it throw a lot of fastballs, this might be a stupid idea. I'm going slider. Get him early on it. And he fouls it off. Some good hitting. That was a good pitch, too. We're going to go fastball in the middle lane. And strike him out. There we go. So we get out of it. No more run score. We still got a 3 nothing lead. Dibble can come back in the third if we want. We're going to try to score a couple more runs, though. Three in run it's not that safe. Uh, especially in the yard. So we'll get some more runs. Base is going to be juiced. Two outs. And Modesty coming up. Come on, Modesty. This is where we need Alberto to come through. We need a grand slam. We need something to get. And we'll score a couple more runs. Come on, Modesty. Alright, he's gonna bring in a roll to this guy, you know. Put him in the heat. Throw the heat. Person. Ah, I'm gonna kill myself! Wow. I'm going to kill myself and it's your fault! And we... He had good timing. Got under it. He's got it. And that'll yep. get him out of the jam. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Not good, not good. Up by three. Going into the bottom of the third. We have to close this one out. It's gonna be Dan Winkler, three righties. Dan Winkler, right he ain't got the best stuff, six, but he's a decent pitcher. Need some of our pitching tips. Stepping in, Get him Gary out, Carter. first pitch, and then Cutter away. Doesn't swing at it. He's been swinging for pitches low in the zone. We're gonna go curveball low. Gotta look at this. We're falling apart here. I'm gonna do it again. Hopefully, it doesn't take any swings. There he goes. We're gonna go with it again. He's early on it. Just early. So he's looking to hit that breaking ball. And it grounds out to third base. Perfect. That's what we wanted. We want these weak, soft contact. That's what you go for in BR. Go for soft contact. Kind of, uh, this one, that's going to be flat. This could be a home run. Thank God. Let's go with that curveball low again. He swung at the whole game. Swings at it again. Fouls it off. He's late. Young Running with the cutter the high and away. To make when he swings the and he hung it, a but he pops it up. See him swing and miss, a little late on it, so we got him guessing. That's out number two. One Especially more out, and we get out of this, and we win the there. game. We will be 2-0. Oh. Now it's Aaron Judge, who went deep his first step back. Throw that curveball low. Ball one. We're going to throw it again. Okay, nope. O oh, two O, oh. and, and we're gonna throw it again. We're gonna get him swinging on this. I know I will. He hung it and he right drives center. it to the and gap. Gets down and we'll see if that's extra bases. Yeah, and this game, this game. This I mean, this is just now. constant hit, hit, and hit. This ain't the best pitching, pitching tips game for me. I mean, I've, I've done that. There we go. It's already dot high and away. One. The cutter, cutter's kind of flat. Down. We're gonna throw a fastball in. A fastball okay. him a bit and one it's one. one. We throw that in Tough again. Spot to hit here as a hitter. You have a base open. Fouls so it off. He's late. Be trying to think like the hmm. All right, we're gonna, gonna go to pitch cutter me, low and away. Fouls it off again. He's late on it. I mean, like I, I, I guess we'll go fastball high and away again. Late once again. We're gonna get him early though, come on. 
curveball. There we go. I couldn't tell if he was late or early on that. I think he was late, but we strike him out. We end the game. We get the win. We give up three runs on six hits. We hung a lot of pitches, but I, I think I got my point across on how to make some good pitches. Uh, we just score a lot of runs. If you score a lot of runs, you got, you're going to give yourself some insurance, and you're going to pitch more confidently. Pitch more in the zone. Make sure you throw strikes. Instead of throwing tons of balls, getting walks. I'd rather give up a, a solo shot than give up a walk. Because I don't know why, but... Just, you, you don't want to give up a two-run shot. You'd rather give up a solo shot. Uh, I, I guess that's going to do it for this game. Uh, my pitching tips. I will do a hitting tips video soon. On how to hit better in BR. Because it's a little bit different than ranked seasons. I was thinking before making this video, I'm like... Pitching tips? Shouldn't that go to ranked seasons as well? But then... BR and rank seasons pitching tips, they're they're much different. I believe they are. It's it's a way different mindset to pitch in BR than it is in rank seasons. So that's gonna do it. This has been Lieutenant Dan Gaming. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.